Welcome to Mojo's Garden. Today I would like to share my orange scorpion. I have shown this plant several times and this is actually my favorite plant. It is a three-year-old orange Trinidad scorpion and the coloring on it is stunning. The plant is enormous and the pods are just starting to come out and ripen. We did have some early spring. Look at that. It is just so beautiful. They are usually a little bit larger, but with our weather that we've had, it's been quite insane. But we've been having, on average, our real feel anywhere from 110 to 120 every day since early February. We are in zone 10B and it has just been such a brutal year. But this plant is finally taking off. He had some trouble in the very beginning of the season and I actually used this one to demonstrate how to use diatomaceous earth. Well, we only did the diatomaceous earth on it once and it worked. Obviously, you can see we've had some difficulties here and there with other aphids, but nothing near as bad as the first attack that we had this spring. The flowers are so full and large. Some of the largest orange scorpion flowers I've seen so that's incredibly promising. Now that <clears throat> it's almost September, the sun has started shifting to where it's going to be for the fall. So that's good news for us. Um, during the heaviest heat of the summer in June and July, the sun is, seems to stay straight above us at all times, but now that we've reached the middle of August, it's starting, we're starting to get a lot more morning sun, and we are protected by the house in the evening. So this particular plant has been under umbrellas all season, but it does get the morning and evening light. I am just so happy that this has been able to stay alive as long as it has and to produce such beautiful fruits year after year. I've shared seeds with many people, uh, given them seeds from this exact pepper plant, and that's incredibly rewarding. I'll show you two others that are my favorites. Uh, my, my three favorites are, are really close right here. The Ahi Sharapita. This is the first year I've ever grown one. And wow, is this plant amazing. The stems are unlike any other. They're very firm. Look at that. Very firm stems. <clears throat> A lot of the pepper plants if you did that, the whole thing would bend. And look, look at the pods. I've, I keep picking, every day I pick more fruit off of this. And it, this is just, these have been so much fun. Um, <clears throat> even with our hot weather, you see those little yellow ones? Those, the plant knows exactly what it wants to get rid of. It, it starts to yellow and then immediately will drop the leaf and then as soon as it does it'll grow new ones like see right here this one's ready to come off uh, but it'll grow another 10 in its place and I might have more than one plant in here I'm really not sure but I, I think there might actually be two plants um, it could probably do a lot better if it only had one I think it's starting to compete with them itself but wow, this is this is just lovely. Um, the Ahisharapita ah is a, a Peruvian pepper. You'll find these 
as house plants in Peru. And they will have them, they use them a lot in their outdoor kitchens. And when they want to use the pepper, they just take a fork and they'll just smush the pepper with the fork and then use it as a finishing flavor on all sorts of dishes. Uh, the flavor on here is so good, you could really put it on just about anything. Uh, it's it's got a, it's it's not super super hot, but boy, some of them can get you really good if if you're not ready for it. You, you think a small pepper like this isn't going to be powerful, and then you put it in your mouth, and whoa, it, it it's a little hotter than you think. Look at that is beautiful. At I'll show you the BB7. Um, something interesting about this plant. I've grown. This is a two-year-old. BB7 here, but I believe that it was marked wrong when I first got it. I, it the bag only said BB7 on it, but I have looked and looked and looked and looked to see what this is the closest resemblance to, and I have found it. It's the Mojo um, Mojo Obsessed Mutant Pepper. Yes, Mojo Addicted Mutant Pepper. The, here, here is the, here is that. And uh, side by side, uh, the leaves, the peppers, and the flowers all are basically identical to the BB-7. So I might have finally figured out the mystery to, to what the BB-7 truly is. Either way, I'm excited. Uh, this um, mom is they have been really productive um, I did let it I uh, did not I didn't top it uh, this is definitely one if I grow again I would top at the beginning of its growth because it did get rather spindly and he, he gave a lot of peppers we had a lot of breakage uh, from some of our storms but then they they went ahead and and re grew themselves. But that's exciting. This, these are lovely pods. Um, the insides are this brilliant blood red. This one's ready. Uh, it's got the corking on it and <clears throat> it's just starting to turn at the top. Still not mushy. They're very hard to decide when to pick, but this, this one is, is ready to pick. Anyway. Oh, check out one more thing here if you can see the the actual branch to the orange scorpion it's a beauty now when this harvest is done i am going to cut it back so that we can maintain that beautiful arch that we have on this plant a lot of this down here is going to have to be trimmed back and next season hopefully the arch will continue even further Oh, that is, that is, I just, I love this plant so much. I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. If you have not subscribed, please do so. I don't put out videos every week, but uh, I try to do a few every season. It's just been really, really hot this year, so I haven't done as many as I'd hoped. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful afternoon.